Hi guys, it's Alexa from Alexa Loves Books. Now I know it's been a while, a couple of months actually, since I've done one of these so I thought I would do one in time for this November recap. Um, it's been pretty good since I got back to New York about a month or two weeks ago. I am still on the job hunt so hopefully something comes up soon, cross your fingers for me. And um, it's been fun in the meantime hanging out with my sister and just showing her New York. We've been doing a lot of New York stuff like going to the touristy spots and watching a Broadway show. We even got to watch a concert. Um, last week we actually just hung out in New Jersey with a couple of family friends and we also spent Thanksgiving with them which was pretty fun. I am still so stuffed from Thanksgiving. I don't think I'm over it yet which is kind of crazy. And we have like a ton of leftovers in the fridge so there's going to be a ton to eat for a while. So to kick off this recap officially, I am going to share my five favorite reads for November. I will be putting the pictures of the covers down there in the rest of this post, so don't worry about it. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what they are and why I like them so much. So my only five star read for November is actually a book I started in October, but then I left it behind in the Philippines, so I didn't get around to finishing it until November. Um, it is a book that's part of a series, and it's no surprise that it earned five stars from me. Uh, it's The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, and that's part of the Heroes of Olympus series, which is one of my favorites. Um, I have always, always loved the way that Riordan manages to mix mythology into his stories. And I really love the seven demigods who are in this series, so it is a no-brainer that I fell in love with this story, this continuation of it. And I'm kind of curious to see how he continues on with it, because it looks like something big is about to go down. I just don't know when or where. Uh, the next book that I'm going to mention is actually by an author who I really enjoy her books. I really enjoy her books, honestly. It's Katie McGarry, and the book is Crash Into You, her latest release, and it's about Isaiah and Rachel. Um, it is not my favorite in the series, I will give you that, but it was a lot of fun to read. I did like Isaiah. It was so interesting to learn, like, more about him and to realize, like, underneath, like, the impression he gives of being, like, a tough, bad guy, bad boy type. He's actually a really sweet guy with a heart of gold. Um, and the girl that, you know he gets involved with Rachel is she's just so interesting I really liked her a lot and I surprisingly think that she's probably the girl I could relate to the most out of the McGarry girls that I met um, while it wasn't completely my favorite the one thing that made that book really stand out for me was the whole car racing and drag racing and you know the whole deal with driving because I'm not someone who likes driving but that book made me want to drive so that's a big deal the next book that I feel like I should mention is also a surprise to me. I never thought that one of these books would make it onto a recap, but apparently this month it will because I didn't read that many books, so this is definitely one of the standouts. I'd say that um, this book is not exactly my favorite of the series, but among the books I've read in it, it's actually one of the top ones, and it's Lover Mine by J.R. Ward. That's part of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, which... Kelly and Rachel and I actually just threw a party for, and I hope you checked out our posts and our celebration for it. Um, Lover Mine is about John Matthew and the girl that he falls in love with. I don't know how to say her name, so I will not say it, but it's spelled X-H-E-X. -X. <laughs> okay, and um, I think it's such a great addition to the series because it's really something that adds a lot to the story of the Brotherhood as a whole, but it also tells the individual stories of John Matthew and his girl. So it's it's really like I could not stop reading that one, so I'm excited. I haven't finished the Black Dagger Brotherhood series up until its latest release yet, but I hope I get to do that in December. The next book that I'm gonna mention was completely like it completely caught me off guard. I did not know I was gonna like it as much as I did. I seriously thought I was just gonna be like oh okay it was pretty good but no you guys this book made me cry like I was legit tearing up within the last third of it and I really like the characters in it um hint there's a movie and I actually talked about this book on Twitter a little bit um it's The Host by Stephanie Meyer I sincerely did not think I would love it as much as I did but apparently my sister knows me so well because I did love it I specifically love Wanderer and Ian. 
I mean, I like Jared and Melanie and all these other characters, but Wonder and Ian were definitely my favorites. So if you were wondering if I think you should read The Host, you can check out my review. It's coming out sometime next week, but I really think it's a good book. And the last book that I was going to mention is a book that I actually finished yesterday. And it is the first in the series as well. And it's actually a book I've been looking forward to reading since BA, since I picked up a copy of it there. And it is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. It is actually crazy how much I did not expect the book to turn out the way it did. Um, it's a little interesting. I mean, you guys have to read it for yourself to really find out what I mean, but I don't think I've ever read a book quite like it, and I think that's a good thing. Um, I do like Lilac. Like, I, she grew on me eventually, but my favorite character has to be Tarver because, number one, I always have a soft spot for men in uniform, and number two, he's just... Oh, he's wonderful. I just I just love him. So you guys have to read that book. It's coming out in December, and my review will be coming out closer to that date. Okay, so those were my five top reads for November. And now I am going to share with you, for a little interruption, my TVT box. I'm just... TVTV Secret Santa box. See, it's right here. It's almost ready. I just have a few more things. One of the things I love the most about what I got for my secret Santa is that she actually asked for one of my favorite books and I am not gonna say which book it is but oh my god when I saw she asked for it I was like yes I will get you that book I have to get you that book so yeah if you know me well or if you've been following this blog for a while you will know exactly what book that is but other than that I will just say it's a nice little box of books and stuff and I hope that my secret Santa really likes it all right, now it's time for the next part of my video, which is to share with you what I am looking forward to reading to in December, or at least five of the reads that I hope to get through. Now, some of these I actually mentioned last month, but I got I kind of pushed them back to December so that I could read them with my friend Rachel, since we have this new thing called Friends with Arcs. Um, so one of the books that got pushed back is something I have been waiting for for a really long time. It is Cress by Marissa Byer. Oh, I'm so excited to read this book. Like, I can't even express how excited I am because I love this series. I'm obsessed with it. And I've heard there's a lot of thorn in this one, so yes. All right. And the next one is actually a debut novel that I have been dying to read since I first heard of it. I just haven't read it yet. And I really think I should because I love this author. She's one of the nicest people I know. And that book is... Taken by Erin Bowman. I love this cover, guys. Have you seen it? It's amazing. I really want to read this before the next book comes out, so this definitely has to get read. Another book that I have been looking forward to, but haven't read yet, is because, I don't know, I've, I've, I've had a lot of stuff on my schedule. I don't know why. I've been watching too many series, first of all. I think... I will let you all know I am now obsessed with Once Upon a Time. Like, I watched that series from the beginning till the latest. Well, I haven't fully caught up, but I'm almost there. And I'm obsessed with it. And my sister and I have also gone through reruns of One Tree Hill and currently Dawson's Creek. Um, but I really want to read Just One Year. I have been hearing a lot about it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it based on what I've been reading, but I hope I like it. I think I will, actually. Um, yeah, so this is actually probably going to be my next read after the one I'm currently reading. Um, oh, this is a book that I was meant to read last month, but the, it kind of came in the middle of last month, so I wasn't able to get to it, but I swear I'm really excited for it, so it kind of just fits in my whole I want to read more fairy tales thing, and it is called The Princess in the Opal Mask. It feels amazing. It has one of those soft covers. And just look at that, that's pretty, isn't it? So I'm excited to read this, and it's definitely happening soon. And the last one I'm going to read is also one I'm looking forward to. I wish I had a copy of this with the cover of it, but I will just share it down below. Um, it is Heartbeat by Elizabeth Scott, which I have not read yet. I've had this copy for a while, actually. It's just I haven't quite gotten around to it, but I will, I swear. Apart from that, I have a bunch of, you know, review books to get to, which I hope I will next month. Um, I'm sort of getting back into the groove of blogging, which is nice. Um, so there, that's pretty much all I've got to share with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video if you actually watched it, and I am happy to be back blogging for you all. Uh, until next month, peace.